Hey trail riders, welcome back to the Daily Ride. I hope you guys are doing well. Our today's focal passage is going to come from John 16, 23 and 24, which says, Most assuredly I say to you, whatever you ask in the, fa the Father in my name, he will give you. Until now you have asked nothing in my name. Ask and you will receive that you your joy may be full. The Daily Fire thought for today is my key to heaven's door is to pray in Jesus' name. Mark my word passages for today is John 16, 23, and 24, Hebrews 4, 14 through 16, and Hebrews 10, 19 and 20. The scriptures that get us through the Bible in a year is Deuteronomy 9, Psalm 92 and 93, Isaiah 37 and Revelation chapter 7. Today we're going to be talking about our Father. We should all seek to perceive God's true position. He is infinitely superior to us. But the invitation to call Him Father brings Him close to us and makes Him approachable. Readers of the book of Hebrews still emerging from their old dispensation of the law had to be taken by the hand and led into this new relationship. They were told, Seeing then that we have a great high priest, Jesus the Son of God, let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, having boldness to enter the holiest by the blood of Jesus, by the new and the living way, which he consecrated for us through the veil that is his flesh. Hebrews 4:14, 4, 4, 16, and Hebrews 10:19 through 20. When Jesus taught his disciples to pray, it made them a new breed, praying always and about everything. He told them what and whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, and that my Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. John 14, 13 and 14. In, in a way, to call on God is instinctive. Who does not, especially when in distress? There's a story about an atheist who was fishing on a lake when suddenly the Loch Ness Monster rose up out of the water and opened his jaws to swallow him. The atheist cried out, Oh God, help me! Then he heard a voice saying, So now you believe in me? To which the atheist replied desperately, Come on, give me a break. I didn't believe in the Loch Ness Monster either until a second ago. Christ taught us the way, the right way, to go about our prayer and to pray in His name. His mighty works mark a new road to God. He has opened heaven's door for us. Enter. You will be received. This is, is a promise for you today. God bless you guys. I hope you'll continually follow me here on the Daily Ride. And I'll see you on the next trail ride.